So my name is Aaron, here with Electroloom, and we are building the next generation of fabric manufacturing. Uh, about a year ago, my co-founders and I had this vision of the future. Uh, we wanted to be able to design, and manufacture clothes um, from within our own homes on top of our desktops. Uh, and we didn't mean cutting and taking some intangible design and seeing it fully realized at the touch of a button. Turns out we were not the only ones with this vision. Uh, about three, five years ago, a lot of these images were circulating on the internet of these hypothetical machines that were mounted to your wall, and at the touch of a button would spit out, in this case, a t-shirt. Uh, if you fast forward to the present day, you see that our current reality is actually quite different. So the closest we get to achieving that vision is through 3D printing. Uh, meaning if you want to design and wear a dress, you actually have to construct it out of thousands of tiny individual joints just to allow it to bend and move. Uh, and even though you can wear it, it's heavy, it's rigid, it's very apparently not made of the clothes we're used to wearing. So we saw this as an opportunity to introduce a technology onto the market that, like 3D printing, allowed users to design custom 3D shapes, but unlike 3D printing, uh, made these objects out of the things we're used to wearing. And we achieved this through a process called electrospinning. We take raw materials, melt them down to liquid forms, apply a high voltage which converts the liquids into fibers. The fibers then spray through the air onto a 3D mold and layer by layer these fibers build up until it's a cohesive fabric. Uh, so we have a time lapse so you can see more accurately what this looks like. This is a previous prototype and you see white patches spreading out over the metal. That's actually the fabric taking form around this mold. And so ultimately when the job is done, you have one single piece of fabric you can pull off. And that's fun because you can do things like Put it on a co-founder. Um, so that's Joe. Probably not too happy about seeing this picture in the deck. Um, but it illustrates two important points for us. And that's, one, that this is a creative tool. So we didn't just want to make a normal beanie. We wanted to add these goofy little earmuffs. We wanted the ability to have these strings that hang down. And we did that. Uh, the second thing is that this fabric that he's wearing is actually completely seamless. Um, and it's not unique to that design. So any fabric we pull out of our machine, will be completely without seams. It will be actually one piece of continuous fabric. So we didn't start there. That was our first attempt. Uh, we went a little bigger. We said, why not make a skirt? Uh, so we had somebody wear the skirt, walk around the streets of San Francisco. You can see how it behaves as she's walking. Uh, and then we went a lot smaller than that. We said, why not make something that could fit a child? This happens to be Cyril's daughter. She's, of course, decorated with flowers that she did herself, so she likes it. Um, but we're just illustrating here sort of the power with the technology and the diversity of the things you can actually make on this platform. Um, the next question, naturally, for a lot of people is, well, what are these things made of? Um, and the answer is actually pretty familiar. So we're working with polyester, uh, we're working with silk, and we're working with acrylic. Uh, these are all materials that are actually in the clothes that you're wearing today. Uh, the other side of this story for us is actually the fabrics themselves. Uh, you see in this video that they have really unique properties. So this is our polyester blend. It's water resistant, uh, but it's also lightweight and porous, meaning it's breathable. So it has properties quite similar to Gore-Tex. Um, Electrospinning as a manufacturing method is actually really exciting. Uh, there are a lot of things that are very unique to it, like being able to create conductive fabrics, meaning one day we can actually embed functional sensors into our clothes. The other thing is there's this element of recyclability. So we've actually taken these designs melted them back down into a liquid form, reused them into different shapes. Um, so that's the exciting world of the materials. So this project has been going on for a year and a half and is culminating with a pretty important launch for us. And that's gonna be the 14th of May, this month, pre-Maker Fair, we are launching our Kickstarter. So what we're hoping to get out of this campaign is actually to ship a small batch of units we're calling these developer kits. So we're looking for makers, we're looking for fashion designers, we're looking for just these crazy enthusiasts who want to try out a new technology, because ultimately this is gonna help us have a feedback loop to build a far more robust platform to eventually be able to provide solutions for some of these bigger players. Um, these are people that we have ongoing dialogues with uh, that we seek eventually to provide with larger machines so they can use uh, our technology for their R&D purposes, but also looking for ways to embed what we call these future fabrics into their existing product lines. This is the team. So the two on the left, 
Marcus and myself, we have experience in a research environment using this technology to make artificial blood vessels. We're essentially scaling it up into the form factor you see now. Joe is our software engineer. He worked at Amazon's Live126 on the Kindle software. And the newest addition to our team, Nick, he has a PhD from UC Berkeley in material science, actually did his dissertation on electrospinning. He's the one that's bringing silk in particular to life for us, so that's really exciting. I uh, just wanted to leave you with this vision, and that's that in the future we do think it's possible to design and manufacture clothes from on top of our desktop, and we actually think that that future starts today. There's a funny story behind it, and that is that we didn't intend to make a child-sized dress. Um, I was actually attempting to make an adult-sized tank top. Um, of course, it came out about five sizes too small. So the cool thing about the technology is that we can learn from our mistakes. Uh, and then we went back to the drawing board, redesigned it, and made it. And I wore it. And I have it on today. And so this is a strange way to end that presentation here at Hack. Thank you very much for the music. So the music wasn't planned, but I'll take it. Um, so this is a little goofy and it's a little gimmicky, but the point is actually important because we started a year and a half ago and we actually wanted to show people that we were serious not only about giving people technologies to design and create things they could actually wear, but that you know we're actually beginning to wear them and we're actually beginning to wear them at events like this. And so we're taking it very seriously. Um, and to wrap things up, uh, I'll say it out loud, but we wanted to actually provide the audience with an opportunity to get their hands on some of this stuff. And so this is a prototype. It was very simple to make a tank top. Um, but where we're going with next is actually trying to make a t-shirt. And so what we wanted to sort of challenge the audience to do was, of course, tweet about us, hashtag lecture loom. You can take a picture of me on stage if you want. But we're a few months out from maybe actually getting that first t-shirt. And we want to actually provide that first t-shirt, the world's first future fabric, if you will, that's wearable uh, to someone in the audience, be it the best tweet, be it the most retweets, whatever it is. Um, but if you hashtag Electroloom, uh, we will get your info and uh, ship you the first Electrospun t-shirt. So that's it. We'll see you on May 14th for our Kickstarter. Thank you very much. <laughs>